we get to talk about something really fun today. And that point is shallowing is stupid. So stupid. So stupid. Let's go. <laughs> The, the reason that I hate these, these terms is mm -hmm. you can interpret them in all kinds of different ways. That's the, that's the problem, is yeah. the interpretations vary widely. Exactly. So like when we're coaching someone, uh, whether it's virtual or in person, if I just told a series of, let's say, five individuals, coaching, 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 and then I go, shallow it, mm -hmm. and then this person, shallow it. Like all five of them, I'm going to see five different iterations of that. 100%. Yeah. So on its own, it's the dumbest freaking thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. So like get your weight to your left side. Okay. Or like posting. Yep. Right. Shallowing. Like all this stuff just drives me nuts because it's just like everybody interprets this idea mm -hmm. in a different way. I think they're terms that make sense to the coach saying them. But the sure. problem is, is how do we develop terminology that makes sense to every single person watching these videos? I think that's the challenge here. Yes. And shallowing probably isn't doing it for a lot of people. Exactly. So Tej, let, let's do this again. Okay. Okay. And let's just swing it back to about half, halfway back P3 again. Okay, great. There's some amount of lead side bend. Mm -hmm. These ribs are closer together than the, these ribs are right now. Like it's very easy to see that. Go ahead and set up and just hug the club for us if you could. So right now we'd be in, in relatively neutral spine angle. Mm -hmm. Actually, Tej, if you could just face the screen this way. And we can see this really easily from right here. This is very neutral, mm -hmm. relatively neutral. Okay, now let's do this. Tj, let's just um, stand at about a 45 degree angle out in that corner. Good, and show us about halfway back now. There you go. So from right here, we can see from TJC spine working through here, there's a small amount of bend right here. Mm. Okay. If you kept turning a bit more, we'd see more and more bend. There you go. And now in transition, we would drop into the look at where the bend just went. Now it bounced out. Can you just go back and forth between those two? There to there. There you go. See this snake like look? And all this bend, guys, is happening in here. It's between his scaps. Because this is all very, very stable down in here. There's not a whole lot of bend in here. Go to there, freeze. Good. Stable, stable, stable. Now it starts to bend. Mm -hmm. This is where the bend actually happens. That is the main shallower. Got so it. let's keep that in mind. Keep that map. Go ahead and set up again. About halfway back or so to P3. And about at P3, we'll see quite a bit of turn here mm -hmm. in TJ. And if he keeps going now... Swing it up and then back into that same looky there. Now, that's what made the golf club fall into that space. It's like the main, like, if we want to use this term of the center of mass of the club falling under the plane, that's what we're talking about with shallowing. But most people that we see, they're trying to do something in the lead arm. They're trying to scap retract in the trail arm to just shove the club back here. Mm -hmm. And that's a no-no. We'll also see like way too much funky stuff in the hands to try to like show this massive shallow. Sure. And there, it's a problem because like there's these new terms that just come out that are just sexy terms. And so people just want to run through that sexyville mm -hmm. as much as they possibly can. And they'll just overdo stuff. Yep. And you're throwing forces like too much force in certain like structures, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this stuff is fairly subtle. And it should happen because, not because I'm reorganizing like all the arms or all the hands and like doing big stuff there. It's just because I'm like clunking like from one side to the other in the pit line mm -hmm. to shallow the center yeah. of mass of the club. Yeah. Okay. The other very interesting thing here, do that one more time for us if you could, about halfway back or so. Okay. And about P3, so a little bit further. There you go. Hands are here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious on this. Show from P3 now back to P5. Good. They're still in relatively the same space. And sometimes we'll see this like reverse slot where the hands are actually out here a little bit more. Mm. This is like anti-shallow. That Most people would think that's over the top. Yes. That the hands would go, so right here at P3, this would kind of bounce up. And then they'd work like out in the space just a little bit. Yep. That's still okay because now TJ's arm structure is still on his anterior. It's in front of him. The center of mass of the club 
might be on his posterior. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could deem that shallowing, but not this. Sure. Okay, and all that happens just because of the right amount of side bend. Sure. And it doesn't need to be a lot. Sure. It's the appropriate amount. Got it. Okay, so let's go P3. P5. Hit. Beautiful. Now, when I say hit, what goes through your brain? Well, uh, this has changed a little bit in the last few weeks. Uh, okay. Uh, before, it, it kind of was kind of motor the chest through. Okay. And let that club kind of go through a little late. Okay. Um, and now I'm actually kind of trying to actively fire my arms across in that hit phase. Yes. And a lot of that, like we've talked about that some, but then recently, and we'll, send, we'll put a video out on this here really soon, yep. uh, with hack motion, it's showing how early... TJ can unload the golf club mm -hmm. and unload the golf club is this active hit in the arms. Yep. And again, what we prefer to see is more of an AB and AD action to yep. hit, but also in the handle, you can let the center of mass of the club just go. Yes. Right? Yes. To feel more like this is an extension. This lead hand goes into uh -huh. extension to unload the club. So like, do you even feel like you're rotating for you a ton through the hit? Not a ton. I know it's there. Uh, and it's supporting sure. the action that I'm making with the arms, but it really does feel like I'm kind of actively throwing these arms across a little bit. Yes, exactly, yep. exactly. And you do such a good job in this transitionary phase and just organizing the club that it's here and then good body action to get it in here. Now, Tej, don't even rotate your chest in your mind and just thump one with the arms. There you go. Like, see how supportive the chest and pelvis and spine and all that stuff, uh -huh. this main stuff in the body, yep. supports the swinging act of the, of the arms. 100%. So the point of this too, is we don't just keep like shoving this thing back here, back here, back here, back here, back here, and never let it go, right? That's another just like, it does not happen with the best players in the world. They yeah. actively hit with the arms, yeah. right? And I mean, if you're continuing to try to shallow it to the point where it's like, this is unreasonable, mm -hmm. Now you're going to have a really difficult time in the hit. Yeah. Okay. I think I think the whole purpose of any shallowing force, right, is to to load up the fascia in a way where it wants to snap back down across you, of sort of as its own accord, right? Yep. So that's the whole goal is to actually energize the arms so that they can fire and hit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's just counterintuitive to sort of leave it back there and just. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And and again, like. We're not speaking to feels right now. No. Yeah. Certain players yeah. need that feel because they're so active and like lowering this yeah. lead arm, right? And, and we that see, that, see that all the time, which is why like a lot of our videos that we've put in the past are going to help a lot of people because, sure. you know, they, they need to feel like this goes a lot later. They need mm. to feel like that happens very, very late. Yep. Um, but it's not what happens in actuality. And if some players take that to an extreme, they're gonna have some problems. Yes, and so. a lot of the, the folks that we're fortunate enough to coach, it, they, they will put themselves, uh, put themselves in that box mm -hmm. of like, okay, I, I see rotation, so that means I need to shallow it a ton, and, da, 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 and they'll just overcook everything, right? Mm -hmm. And like pretty soon they just over season their meal to the point where it tastes horrible. Yeah. Right, and you need the right amount of seasoning so that it it tastes good, yes. right, and feels good. Yes. Right, and so like again, what actually happens is does the center of mass shallow in a lot of players? Yeah, it does, but you don't see like a ton in a lot of like patterns. Yes. And why you see a ton in some players like Lee Trevino yep. or Neiman? They have a ton of of side bend. They do, right? Yeah. And it doesn't. It's still a healthy pattern. Like you never hear like Lee Trevino talk about mm -hmm. like back problems, right? Yeah. He's he's fine. He just has a lot of this. Yep. Well, if I did a lot of that, where would that golf club go? Continue shallowing and, and continue falling. Continue shallowing. Down. So yeah. we see this bigger, larger move uh -huh. out of that type of a player than we would see out of like an Adam Scott with a small amount of side bend. Right. But we still see a little bit. It moves in the space because touch. we're trading from lead side bend to trail side bend. And that's the main center of mass shallower. But just that little bit is probably good for most people. Like yeah, exactly. just a little bit of bump here just to get that club working more in that space instead of this space. Yep. Right? And then even when you move it into that space, don't be afraid to just hit. That's the whole point of moving it into that space. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that yeah. now you can go and hit these freaking like thumpy ones that feel great. Uh-huh. 
Okay, so let's see one that's like, th this will be super easy to just kind of move in this in this space. We've got this like halfway back, know how the ribs are, are moving to create side bend and control the golf club. And then you just hit with the arms, they fire. Beautiful. So there's a little three piece exercise to just help you with a better understanding of shallowing, mm -hmm. right? But now let's see it in one motion, but kind of 60%. Okay. And we'll just kind of work through those three phases. I think I'm gonna go even slower just so I can really. Yep, love it. That's so good. God, oh, that feels good. That feels it's really just good. so. Feels right. It's so stable through here too. Yeah, you just feel it forever. <laughs> and the reason that TJ can do that, like if you want to limit shaft tumble, you need to hit earlier, uh -huh. right? Which yep. is really cool because if you get it in here, eventually like you got to get it going. I can't just like keep turning, 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 like extension finally yep. will force this to go, but it shoots the handle out to the right and then there goes the golf club and it'll tumble. And you're mm -hmm. like, well, dude, I'm just trying to turn to stabilize it. That's it. Um, that, that's a comment that we see very, very often when mm -hmm. we make a post or a video about shallowing forces. Yep. As I'll see, I'll see almost like a frustrated, exasperated comment from someone that's like, shallowing ruined my game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and we go, yeah, absolutely. It, we know it what can, you're talking about. it can if it's ta if the seat stake is over seasoned, right? Exactly. If once you get the club in here, you don't understand that that's just a, a temporary force uh -huh. before we hit yeah. across with the arms. Yep. If you don't understand that, then yeah. Then you're done. Like you're done. we would actually like to see this, and you see this out of like some of our favorite players, like Brooks Kepka. Lee Westwood, mm -hmm. uh, even Hogan. Yes. This lead arm, like once it's in here, as this as they're going forward, this arm comes off. Yes. And we'll see all this space happen. Like in here where TJ's showing P5, uh -huh. it's like across to load this posterior arm line. Yes. But again, to your point, fascial lines that are loaded, we're loading them in certain ways so that now I can fire off of that. So this lead arm should come off to hit. That's the hit. See all that space? Yeah. So when you're doing these little exercises of like, okay, a little lead side bend, the shaft's kind of tall. Mm -hmm. Now as it bounces up and I trade into a little bit of like C-spine and top portion of, of T-spine, oh, there's the club. Mm -hmm. And as you, of course, you can keep turning. But for a lot of our players, I mean, so many players that we coach that they're like, dude, I don't even feel like I'm turning forward anymore. Mm -hmm. I go, well, yeah, because you overcooked it to the point where it's unreasonable. Yes. And so you can just go, mop, thump. Exactly. Okay, let's hit one more, All but right. a little bit firmer. A little bit further. Just through those three phases in your right. golf swing, but Love we're really right. looking for this ability to hit. You remind myself of the phases real quick. There, boom, beautiful. Just a good thump. That's just stupid good. <laughs> Wanna try that one again? It's a sure. little toey. A, a little toey, and it's a little late with the arms. Yeah, that's in the hit. Because it feels like that a little uh -huh. bit. Exactly. I kind of get that way sometimes. Exactly. So you're just into five and then you're just hitting with the arms. The chest will respond. It's not like you're not gonna turn. Mm -hmm. Like really, if you have like half a strand of friggin' athletic DNA, you're mm -hmm. gonna turn to For finish. Sure. For sure. Like, I mean, it, it's gonna happen. If you put any force in that direction, this is gonna play a supportive role. Yes. And it'll motor and turn for you. Mm -hmm. That's completely fine. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of different kind of sidecar topics in this discussion. Sure. But the whole point is to better understand like why the center of mass of the golf club falls underneath the plane with a lot of really high level players. Mm -hmm. And and there's a lot of stuff out there like lowering the arms create shallowing. No, you don't like because if you if you just lower the arms, you got all the force going down and you got to create extension earlier. That's where early extension comes from. We've talked about that in a, in another video. Yeah. Right? So again, just shallowing the term shallowing on its own, it, it's, it's left up to the user mm -hmm. to interpret in their way of how to move it in there. And most people just overcook stuff and do stuff that really doesn't like make any sense to like structuring or support or speed mm -hmm. or anything that would make any athletic sense. And just better understanding like the spine and the ribs are really what influences that little bit of like movement that we see at a high level players. Yes is the map that we want players to get into so that now they can go ahead and hit and Love the it. body plays that support system to the arms, hands, and club. That's what we're looking for. That's the easy map. Yes, sir. Shallowing stupid. <laughs> Just do it the right way. Just do it the right way. Exactly. Let's go, baby. Turkey.
Turkey. 